Mayor Hancock announces a plan for a major Denver investment in today's state of the city. He's hoping the voters will approve a $450 million bond this fall. He says it could bring over 7,000 jobs and $1 billion of economic impact and construction alone. Now, one of the biggest pieces will be a new arena to be built at the National Western Complex. Jeff Dodd joins us live there tonight. So, Jeff, the mayor says this is badly needed. Karen, it was just 2015 when voters approved a huge package for renovations here at the complex. A lot of that construction is taking place, but one thing that wasn't funded is a new arena to replace the Denver Coliseum. Well, now there's an expectation that a new arena would bring even more economic prosperity to this area. For years, Mayor Michael Hancock has made remodeling the National Western facilities a priority. On Monday, he took another step. Building a new state-of-the-art arena and the new events it will attract will create year-round jobs and provide funding for community programs and projects. Plans for the new arena are not new. It was part of a 2015 master plan. This particular entity will be roughly about 10,000 seats and it'll help us really focus on those mid-level concerts and festivals. The plan is to take events that are currently held in the Denver Coliseum and move them into the new building. The arena will really be the economic driver behind all of the entire National Western Center campus. The 29 rodeos during during the stock show would call the new arena home, all while giving back to the community. Ticket buyers and event goers will have the opportunity to round up their purchases, um, and that money would be put into a community investment fund, which would ultimately go back to the Global Area Swansea communities. The city says it's completed analysis and design and could begin construction soon. Fully realize the vision and mission of the National Western Center. The Denver City Council will get a look at this proposal and others that they may include in this bond, but it will likely be up to Denver voters if this money is approved on the ballot in November. We're live in Denver tonight. Jeff Todd covering Colorado First. Jeff, thanks.